Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Meredith E. Phillips, and this week we are entering complete writer cave goblin mode. There is not a second to spare. I am on a super tight deadline, and I've brought this upon myself in all honesty. It is Tuesday, November 12th, and I have a lot to do before Friday. So let me get you caught up in case for some reason you didn't watch the last couple vlogs. I mean, they're right there. You could just go watch them. Or if for some reason you've forgotten the details of my life. Anyway, really quick catch up. Number one, I was accepted into a mentorship program back in October. It was awesome. I am excited. Number two, my mentor and I agreed that the end of my book was actually horrific. And so I rewrote the entire thing. I spent about a week brainstorming and outlining a new ending. And by ending, I mean like the last 10 to 12 chapters of the book. Okay, so we re-outlined, we replotted, we replanned, we did the things. I spent about a week writing the new chapters. Then I spent a week going back through the new chapters, revising them into what I am considering draft two status. And then in the previous vlog to this, starting on November 10th, Sunday, November 10th, I went all the way back to the beginning of the book and we're doing more revisions. <laughs> it's fine, I'm fine, everything's just jolly and wonderful. So the book is currently 40 chapters. It's about 90 some thousand words. We're not gonna think about that. And here's the plan, here's the plan. So over the weekend, Sunday and Monday, I had Monday the 11th off. It was uh, Veterans Day here in the States. So we had that day off work, which was awesome. And I very much needed it. In order to get this done, in order to get this revision done by the end of the week, I need to go through 10 chapters a day, which on my day off, was difficult. So how am I going to get through the remaining 20 chapters over the next two days when I have a regular full-time job to go to? Who knows? I don't know. I don't know what this week is going to look like. I expect it to be a little hectic, you know? I did request off a few extra hours from work because it is, in all honesty, a really slow time of year for my particular job. There really isn't all that much going on. So I'm like, do you actually need me sitting here doing really nothing? Um, no, you do not. So release me from this and I'll go work on something else that's more important to me, frankly. So hopefully I'll have a few extra hours like tomorrow or Thursday to do things. But here's the plan. Here's the plan for this week because it is currently Tuesday. Today, allegedly, theoretically, supposedly, I am needing to get through the next 10 chapters of the book, which is chapters 20 through 29, I think. 20, no, it's 21 through 30. 21 through 30. Those are the chapters I need to complete today. Tomorrow, we need to complete, <laughs> this is ridiculous, we need to complete chapters 31 through 40, plus the epilogue. The epilogue is done. Like I really, there's nothing to, I've read that thing so many times. It's not that long. It's fine, but you know, it's there. We'll reread it. So that's the plan for Tuesday and Wednesday. Thursday, what I would like to do, this is so ridiculous, but what I'd like to do is reread the entire book from start to finish, just like one more pass through the whole thing to see if there's anything embarrassing, like, that stands out as super embarrassing or ridiculous or like, oh my gosh, I didn't do this thing, you know? Just one more pass, because I'm an anxious little gremlin and I feel like that'll make me feel either really good about it or feel incredibly disheartened and embarrassed, but we'll hopefully not have that feeling. Then Friday, it is due Friday. We didn't say what time it was due, so I'm assuming I have it until 11.59 p.m. <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna wait that late, but I have until Friday to finish it Friday I want to have Basically the whole thing done if I need a few hours on Friday to like do a little extra something I'll have that but my main plan for Friday is to like export it from Scrivener Put it in a word document make sure it's formatted go through the word suggestions for grammar stuff Most of which I'll dismiss because they're wrong, but I do find that the word grammar check will find instances where I have like the same word twice in a row. I do that so often. I've found that so many times when I do this, it's ridiculous, but it'll be like, he opened the, the door, you know, or something dumb like that. So it'll catch, you know, little mistakes like that. And then it should be done. 
and I'll be able to send it to my mentor. At that point, I'll be ready to collapse. I have plans to sleep and play Zelda this, that weekend, the 16th and 17th, and I don't want anyone to bother me with anything at all. From there, just so you have like an idea of what's coming next, my mentor has three weeks to read through the project, make all of her notes, write me an edit letter. I'm really excited actually slash incredibly nervous about the edit letter. I've never gotten an edit letter before, at least not on like my entire project. So I feel like that'll be fun just to sort of see what that looks like. <laughs> And um, anyway, so she has three weeks. The deadline for her is December 6th. So I'll get it back at some point before the 6th or on the 6th or whatever. And then we'll be doing more revisions from there. But the next three weeks will hopefully be a little bit of a breather, a little bit of a reprieve from the insanity the last like month has been, but we're not quite there yet. I still have four days to go through, to live through before I can take, I think, a well, a well-earned break. So anyway, I got up at my regular, you know, 5 a.m. time, did work this morning. I got through two chapters, question mark. Hold on, let me look. No, I'm a beast. I got through three chapters this morning. So that was awesome. I still have, what, seven to go. So yeah, looking good. I still have some job stuff to do, and then I'm gonna just not do job stuff and do writing stuff. So yeah, I'm not really sure what this vlog is gonna look like um, because I mean, it might be a lot of voiceovers. I don't know what I'm gonna do. We're just, we're just, we're just doing the most, okay? We're doing our best and that's what you're gonna get. So I'll check in with you later when I have an update. <laughs> goblin. I've made it to chapter 26 and I actually think I can make it through the end of chapter 30. It's uh, 4.30. The next portion of the book from here to the end are the chapters that I worked on revising like two weeks ago and I've already gone through them once in a revision pass. So I don't have any extra notes about like, oh, make sure to include this or that. So I'm really just going to go through these and see if there's any little things I need to fiddle with and hopefully that won't take too awfully long. Let's see how much we can get done before dinner. <sighs> Maybe we'll make it. Maybe. <laughs> I'm just like, Gah. got through those last chapters. These last couple ones, it was, you know, I was just kind of reading through them. I fixed a few little things, but nothing major. I'll see you tomorrow and hopefully we can finish another 10 chapters and be on our way. I want you to know that I specifically combed my hair just for you. You're welcome. It was uncombed up until about 20 minutes ago and it is 3.53 p.m. It was just in a tangled mass in a clip on the back of my head. I also have a throbbing headache. I've taken medicine for it, but honestly, I'm not sure if that's gonna help, so. It's Wednesday, my dudes, and we have a couple chapters left to get through for this revision. I think I'm gonna be able to do it. So the reason these ones are going faster than those first like 20 is because these are the chapters that I just wrote. I've already gone back and re revised them. And I'm basically at the point where like, I'm sure there's still things that could be fixed and changed and fiddled with, et cetera, et cetera. But I don't, I don't know what those things are. Typically for me, after I finish a draft two, that's when I like to send it to critique partners. And then they always go in and they're like, what about this or that, or this didn't make sense. You know, they have, they see the things that I'm missing. So for this, I don't have the benefit of that critique partner feedback to be like, oh yeah, duh, you should mention that. Or clearly this is going too fast and it's paced weird, you know? So as far as I can see at this point, 
it, it's good, it, you know, it's, it's as good as I can make it. So right now I'm just reading through these chapters. I'm changing little things. There's just like uh, almost some of this is like grammatical stuff, which is really not all that important at this stage. But, you know, just little things. If I'm noticing it, I'm like, oh, I should have put that clause somewhere else so that it modifies the correct thing. Blah, 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 blah. You know, like kind of stuff. So anyway, that's really all the kind of changes I'm doing. I mean, in terms of plot, there's nothing I'm changing here. So I have... What do I have? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I've got six, including the epilogue, six chapters, including the epilogue, left to go through. I'm confident I can get through it. At what cost? I am unsure because my head really hurts, man. It's just like right here and like behind my eye. You know, you know, those ones. In a few minutes, I need to get Jade up and take her to go potty and all that. And then I'm going to be back here trying to finish this out for the day. I am fixing easy dinner tonight. It is going to be baked potatoes and side salads. Super easy. Who doesn't like a potato? Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's the plan for today. Let's, let's get to it. Okay, we're back to these end chapters one more time. It's almost five o'clock though, so I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna put the potatoes in the oven, and then we'll be back to this. potatoes still have about 30 minutes left so I'm gonna work on this until about six o'clock which is in like 20 minutes um, and then I need to get the salad stuff ready for myself so I'm gonna see how far I can get through this next chapter chapter 39 I feel like <laughs> gone through this so many times but yeah okay 39 and then we'll have So close. The salad looks a lot more aesthetically pleasing than the potato. <laughs> uh, yeah, but that's my that's my dinner. It looks so good. The lighting is incredible in here, but um, try not to focus too much on that. Uh, you might have two questions. Your first question might be, Meredith, aren't you married? Where is your husband? He is at work. His work hours <laughs> are really goofy and he works late, so I usually am eating dinner by myself. You might also be wondering, Meredith, that's a baked potato. Why is there no cheese on it? You should have cheese on that and probably on your salad. And to that I say, no thank you, I don't like cheese. I said what I said, I don't like cheese. The only form of cheese I will eat willingly is smoked Gouda sliced on crackers, like a Ritz cracker or something, that is acceptable. Why is that acceptable? I do not know. But especially when it comes to melted cheese, absolutely not. It has the same consistency as throat gunk, which is my least favorite word in the English language. Um, and I don't want to eat that, so no thanks. Anyway, I'm going to eat my dinner, watch a video as I do, and then we'll get back to that book of mine, which we are almost finished with. Again, the lighting is just immaculate. It is 6.38. I'm gonna try to finish out this last little piece and hopefully little lady in the living room, her name is Jade, hopefully she won't bother me for like the time it takes me to read 1900 words. Okay, I'm almost done, almost done, almost done. Let 
let me get to this. <laughs> I am actually in disbelief <laughs> that I finished it, oh my gosh. So, very pleased. Guess what we're gonna do tomorrow? Back to the beginning again. Jade's come to congratulate me. Oh. She's probably like, where the F's my dinner? I'm getting it, hold on. Yeah, so tomorrow. <laughs> Hi, what are you doing? Tomorrow, I need to decide how I want to do this. So I wanted to use Thursday as a day to reread the whole project, like start to finish, read, read the whole thing. Jade, leave it, leave it. Just to, just to, just to do like a final read through, see if there's anything that really needs to be fiddled with. I mean, I'm sure I can find something, but I'm talking like, well, that's like a, you know, major, inconsistency or you know something like that that I've somehow missed and I'm trying to decide how do I want to do this so I had initially thought well I'll just read it on the computer and then if I see like a typo or something I'll be right here and I can fix it but then I thought well it's also kind of fun and can be helpful if you export it and read it on something different either like I've read it on an iPad before my Kindle, that can be fun. It can kind of like look like a real book, you know. Um, so I could do that. If you do that though, then if you do see a typo or something dumb where you're like, oh my gosh, I need to change this, that you can't do it on your Kindle, you know, then you've got to like make a note or remember somehow, oh, go back to chapter five, page 36 to fix this little stupid typo thing, you know? So I'm not, I don't know, I could do that. The other option I thought of is I could export it from Scrivener, or I think Scrivener has this too, I don't remember. I could have it read to me. Word I know has like a read it to me function. It sounds horrible, like just objectively it's terrible, but it actually is kind of nice. I've done that with like chapters at a time, like one or two chapters here and there. And it's just kind of nice hearing it. Uh, and then of course you do catch, if there is a typo, like it won't be able to say it correctly. So you can kind of catch it there. I don't know. So I'm still thinking about what exactly, how exactly I want to reread it. But that's the plan for tomorrow. So I'll see you then. And um, we'll be one day closer to Friday. <laughs> Actually, I will see you just a little while later. It's still Wednesday. I didn't do something very important and something that's a little terrifying. We do need to check the word count. Okay. Oh, let me check it. Okay, it's running. <laughs> now listen, it's at 94,500 51 words. I did say we were going to keep it under 95. It's under 95, okay? It is under 95. The version that Alexandra read from my smooch pit entry was like 83,000. I'm going to send this to her and she's going to be like, what the heck did this girl do in this book? I did not approve this. Uh, all right, well, that's very good. Okay, now I really will see, see you tomorrow. <laughs> it is such a nice day out here. And I'm gonna spend it sitting at my computer. Yeah. Good morning. Okay, so we have decided. We have decided to read the book on my Kindle in front of my computer because I am finding like little things where I've, you know, used the word laughter like five times on one page and crap like that. So <laughs> I'm trying to fix that as I find it. I found a few little typos. So I'm, I'm right here at the computer to fix that. But it is nice if you're trying to like go through and find like little random things absolutely recommend rereading the project on a device that isn't your computer. Like if you've been using Word or Scrivener or Google Docs, put it on your Kindle, 
put it in a PDF and read it on your iPad. You can print it, you know, on actual paper and read it. Like do it in a different medium because it'll be a different font or a different look. And it just, it just, I don't know, you catch things that way. Anyway, I started reading earlier this morning uh, when I got up. I'm about, I'm exactly 25% of the way through and I'm so excited because the like, inciting incident scene or the scene where you're getting pushed into act two hits exactly exactly at the 25 percent mark in this kindle version of the book which is super exciting i feel like that's one thing that's a little hard to tell in scrivener like how far exactly am i into the book because like chapters are different lengths so you could have 10 chapters in act one and that's a completely different page length than 10 chapters in act two, you know? So that was super satisfying to see it, see that scene hit right at 25%, right at 25%. That's very, that's very satisfying. So we'll see how the rest of the story lines up in terms of like what percentage through the book are we? I did take a few extra hours off work <laughs> this afternoon so I could have time to do this and uh, it's going well so far. Yay. So I'm going to keep going and hope that the rest of the book is as charming as act one. I really like act one. Flash forward to when I get my edit letter from my mentor and she's like, act one is, we need some work here. <laughs> I'll be like, dang it. Okay. Let me get back to reading. Okay. So it is a little after 1.30. I clocked out of work early. Goodbye. And we're going to try to get through a bunch of this slash all of it because <laughs> it's Thursday. So I am currently reading through chapter 11, I think. I'm on 11. And yeah, we're just gonna keep trucking along. Let's see how long this takes me. It's been good so far. Um, I, I enjoyed act one. I think it worked. I haven't made any kind of major changes, but anyway, let me get to work on reading and updating this document. Honestly, if I finish, I don't know how long this is gonna take me to read through, but if I finish early enough, I might just go ahead and export it. I don't know, that's a lot of work. Exporting it and then like making sure it's formatted correctly and going through the word suggest, like all that stuff just takes a while. I don't know, I might leave that for tomorrow. Anyway, we're, we'll, we'll see how far we get, okay? So let's go. Look who it is. It's a little dog. She woke up. All right, so it is a little after 3.30. I am at, where am I at? I am 41% of the way through this book. It's still going well. I think again, like that 50%, the midpoint mark, I think it's gonna fall like perfect where it should. We'll find out in 9%. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna keep reading because that's all I'm doing. I haven't found anything like super egregious in terms of like inconsistencies. I mean, most of what I'm finding is, you know, repeated word usage or very similar word usage, which I try to avoid. There was one part where I used pleasure and I used pleased within like two sentences of each other. And I was like, no, can't have that. So I had to retool, you know, little, it's just little things. Like it doesn't, uh. This is not like super necessary, you know what I mean? <laughs> but I want to try to make it as polished as I can. So that's what we're doing. I should get another light in here, but I mean, it's literally right over there, but I'm just trying to get through this. Okay, it is just about five o'clock and I am at 50%. So I feel like I need to be reading faster. Who knew it would take a long time to read a book in one day? The 50% mark is good. I like what lands there. 
it's not quite like technically the midpoint. I think the midpoint hits more around like the 60% mark somewhere in there, which is fine. Like that's fine, I think. I'm gonna be very curious to see where like the 75% mark hits. I'll, I'll be curious to see like where the different portions of the ending fall because that's the newest part and hopefully it's paced well. <laughs> so anyway, this is good, I think, in terms of the pacing so far. So I'm happy about that. I'm gonna keep going for another maybe like 30 minutes and then I'll need to take a little break to make evening meal time and uh, eat evening meal time. And then I'll be back to this. I might read during dinner. Well, I could come back here with my food and eat while I read. Normally, if I'm gonna read during dinner, I would just bring the book to the dinner table with me. But, you know, I'm making little changes in the actual Scrivener document, so I might need to come back here. That's fine, I'll just sit back here for the rest of my life. Anyway, I'm gonna keep reading and we'll make dinner shortly. <laughs> I mean, evening meal time. <laughs> All right, it is 5.38. I hit the 60% mark. It fell perfectly. I'm very happy about that. <laughs> very happy about that. So I'm gonna go make evening meal time for myself very quickly. It's spaghetti. I All of the meals I planned for this week are like the easiest possible meals. Okay, like spaghetti and hot dogs. <laughs> I was like, what do I not have to cook? So anyway, that should be very fast. And then I'll be back here, I guess, and we'll keep reading. <laughs> All right, we are closing in on the end of this. I am 70% in. The 70% mark, 70, 75% mark is about to hit, and the scene that should be there is there. So that's great. I do need to get the dogs taken care of and give them their evening meal time. So let me do that real quick, and then I'll be back here to read some more of this book. I'm enjoying it. I haven't just sat and read it, you know, in a while without like trying to take notes or, you know, like all that kind of stuff. I mean, I'm paying attention, you know, like I said, fiddling with little things, but I'm not like trying to take some sort of detailed notes. I don't know. Anyway, I'm enjoying it. I think it's good. <laughs> Overall, you know, like I'm not saying it's perfect or nothing, but like I'm having a good time reading my book. All right. Anyway, doggy dinner time. Are you excited? <gasps> oh, are you excited? I gotta get your food first, hold on. All right, I'm at the 80% mark. It is eight o'clock. And according to my Kindle, I still have an hour and 40 minutes left. That seems a little exaggerated. And like some, some of the time I've been not proceeding forward with the pages because I'm like messing with something on the computer, you know, so I'm, I'm guessing that's a little off. But I don't know if I'm gonna finish this tonight. I don't have to, like, I can read, uh, finish reading it tomorrow and still have, you know, plenty of time to finish stuff up by the end of the day. But, oh, dang, I really wanted to finish this. I could stay up late. Ugh. I don't know. I'm going to keep reading, maybe finish this next chapter. But then I've got to do, like, dishes and <laughs> get ready for bed and all that kind of crap. So anyway, let me just read a little bit more and uh, we'll see where we go from there. I'm at 86%, it is nine o'clock now. There's two things in this book that I will not have time to go back and fix, but I just want to note that I am noting it. Number one, these people are sighing so many times. <laughs> so much sighing. We need to curtail that. And then the other thing that a lot of people are doing uh, constantly is like collapsing in chairs, falling against the back of the chair, collapsing. In the, there's a lot of like chair activity. So yeah, we'll fix that. We'll fix that later. <laughs> All 
All right, it is 9.15, I'm at 90% in this book. I think what I'm gonna do is leave it for tonight. I'll be up in the morning. I'll be able to finish it in the morning, certainly, and then I can do all the exporting and formatting of the document, and then I can send it off, and we will be done. <laughs> See you in the morning. Good morning. It is Friday, <laughs> November 15th. I actually don't know how I made it, but here we are. So this morning we got up 5 a.m., came back here. I read the last 10% of the book, made a few last little changes and finished the reread. <laughs> So that's fantastic. I really like it. I really like it. I like the book a lot. Aside from all of the sighing that needs to be fixed. Oh, also the other thing I noticed, in addition to the sighing and the various ways of slumping into chairs that's happening, there's a lot of men who are offering their arm to ladies. Like that's happening a lot. So I'm like, okay, we could clean that, but we're not gonna, I'm not gonna mess with that right now. <laughs> They're just gonna be sighing and it's fine. So um, I also exported it out of Scrivener. I put it in a Word document. I formatted the Word document. So it's, you know, like chapter one and it's bumped down a little bit on the page and I did a cover page and I put the header in and all that stuff. So the final, the final thing to do today before I send it is to go through the Microsoft Word grammar suggestions. I feel like more than half the time I ignore the suggestions because they're either flat out incorrect, like grammatically incorrect, or they're more like suggest they're just like you could put a comma here but you don't have to i don't know i definitely i'm not going to be accepting all of these but i do like this feature because it does point out if you have like like i said earlier a double word he opened the the door or something stupid like that <laughs> or if you've used um you know through instead of though by accident so it'll pick up that kind of stuff and that's just nice to do one last little bit of polish yeah so I'm gonna go through these suggestions. Let's see how many suggestions there are, actually. There are 73 spelling suggestions. Now, some of those are gonna be like, I know like it'll um, underline character names, like the, na the last names I've made up for people. So like a bunch of those are gonna be ignore this. There's 142 grammar suggestions. So we'll see how many of those are actually valid. And then there's a few other ones. It looks for clarity. Again, like some of this, I just like, it, it is so wrong. Or conciseness, which oftentimes in the conciseness category, it's like, no, I want it to read the way I wrote it because it sounds more old timey England, okay. <laughs> and then just some other things. So anyway, let's go through this and then we'll be ready, we'll be ready to send it. Ah! Ah! I'm so ready, I'm so ready to send it after we do this, after we do this. All right, let's go through these suggestions. Hey, voiceover Meredith here. Sorry, the audio in this last little couple clips is a little goofy. It's the in-camera microphone because the cord for the additional better microphone got unconnected, it got like disconnected, so anyway, sorry. It's a little like echoey and background noisy, I think. But anyway, just enjoy, enjoy the rest of the video. Okay, I went through all the grammar suggestions and I was, I'm, I literally have my email pulled up over here. I forgot one more thing I need to do because I am an elder millennial and I do still put two spaces between my sentences. Leave me alone. Just sit down, okay? It is muscle memory at this point. I am not about to try to break that habit, unnecessary in my opinion. And actually when I'm draft, like when I'm working in a document, I like having the double space, like it just gives a little, a little extra space, a little extra like breathing room for the text. I prefer it. I'm sorry. It's almost like, it's almost like the difference between single and double spaced, you know, in terms of the lines. 
like double spaced is just there's more breathing room it's easier to read it's not just a like block of text it's just more aesthetically nice to look at to me double space is the way to go i'm sorry i know it's wrong okay i'm fixing it right now all right let me replace all 5100 instances of double spaces okay geez replace them there we go all right i'm gonna also check for hold on um triple spaces because sometimes like i don't do that on purpose but like sometimes you know stuff gets weird when you're messing with the text let's see if i have any okay there was none of that all right all right everything no did this, this didn't mess anything up did it <laughs> i shouldn't have messed up anything it's still 355 pages now that that is taken care of okay you can all just chill out let me find uh, what's the last thing all right let me go ahead and send this Ooh, all right it's fine we're chill <laughs> oh all right i'm almost done oh my gosh let me make sure i attach the correct document okay this one was updated a minute ago this is the correct one I'm um, terrible at emails. Okay, like, what do I even say? I'm like, here it is. Okay, bye. <laughs> no. Okay, I'm about to send it. I feel like as soon as I send it, I'm gonna be like, oh no, wait. <laughs> We're just gonna send it. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> ah! <sighs> the book has been sent. Oh my gosh. I was like, I'm not gonna be anxious about it. I'm just gonna like chill out for three weeks. I will not. So what are we doing from here? What are we doing from here? I have three weeks to not think about this book. It is, uh, it, she'll go through it, do all of her inline document comments, etc., etc. She'll give me an edit letter. I'm very excited to receive that. I've never gotten an edit letter before. I'm very curious like to see what kind of revision stuff she'll suggest. Yeah, but it's due back to me no later than December 6th. So that seems like so far away, but but it's not. I'm sure it'll be here before I know it. So I'm really I'm looking forward to it. I'm sure she'll have a lot of things that can be improved. I feel good. I feel good about it as it is. Not that I'm saying like, oh, it's so good. Like it's just gonna have like minor suggestions. I don't think it's gonna have minor suggestions. I'm sure she'll have some big thing where I'm like, oh, well. but I also I feel I just feel like confident about it as a whole. I like the project a lot. I think it's a lot of fun. And if if I was not in the mentorship program, this is the stage at which I would be looking for beta readers. So like that's the sort of like level I feel like it's at at this point. So she's gonna be my first beta reader for this round. We'll see what she says in a couple weeks. For me, the upcoming weekend is the 16th and 17th. We know, we know that I'm gonna sit on that sofa I'm not gonna comb my hair, like all weekend, basically. I'm gonna eat whatever I want. I'm gonna finish the Zelda game. I'm probably gonna watch In the Mood for Love again because I've been thinking about that constantly still and I really wanna watch it again. <laughs> I got the DVD, did you? Did I even show you this? I got the DVD, it's gorgeous. It was on sale from the Criterion Collection. This has like special features. Special features. So I'm going to watch that hopefully this weekend. Look at her. I'm just gonna put her right there. She's so beautiful. This has been interesting because I mean like have I ever had an actual deadline before? Not really. I've made deadlines for myself, but there's no consequence if I don't make it. You know what I mean? This felt very much like an official deadline. So that was interesting. Anyway, after this, after this, for you guys, the next, the upcoming weekend, the weekend of the 23rd and 24th, I think, whatever it is. I do have plans to do some writing work. It will not be with this project. I'm not touching this for three weeks, but I do have some things I'd like to maybe do. So we'll see what happens there. That'll be the vlog for next week. Something a little different to take our mind off of this. For now though, I'm going to be done. I'm gonna be done. I'm not gonna look at this computer like the whole rest of the weekend practically. It's gonna be a good time for me. <laughs> Thank you for coming along with me on this portion of the mentorship journey. It's been a journey already. I appreciate all the encouraging comments and I'm 
excited to continue to share all of this with you. So for now, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, you can click the subscribe button. I post videos on Fridays. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you next time. Bye.